The inherently fragmented nature of memories is hard to visualize, but The Last Daughter co-directors Brenda Matthews and Nathaniel Schmidt do a good job with this in this compassionately crafted documentary. Throughout film, footage is adjusted according to the testimony of Matthews, a Wiradjuri woman and a member of Stolen Generation, who was removed from her biological family when she was very young. He was placed in the care of white foster parents who raised him in a loving home for five years before being directed to send him back to his Aboriginal family. In the long run, this created a huge gap in his understanding of his past. Matthew's earliest memories were of growing up in a white family, but where did they go? Why did they leave your life? Based on Matthew's memoir of the same name, The Last Daughter is a very personal detective story, underlined with a rich humanity that makes it sometimes so sad but lively and uplifting. Trying to bring together two sides its narrative and its family Aboriginal and white the film joins a canon of productions grappling with challenges reconciling indigenous cultures with a post-colonial era. Society with its Judeo-Christian foundations and genocidal past. Most productions about stolen generations focus on people who are understandably and necessarily removed from their homes. The Last Order also gives insight into foster parents who, with the noblest intentions, undertake to care for a child. We meet Mac and Connie, Matthew's white foster parents, who want to help children who, in Connie's words, need a home and are not as lucky as us. Mac remembers how it felt to have a clearer picture of the personal and societal consequences of their adoption. We thought we were heroes, she cries, but we ended up being bad guys to deprive a mother of her child. Brenda Matthews with her adoptive parents Mac and Connie. For much of the last daughter, Matthews and his former step-parents are visually disconnected they don't share the frame, which creates a desire to see them together. Nana Brenda, the mother of Matthews' seven children, understandably has mixed feelings about her daughter's desire to follow them and reconnect 40 years later. His journey reveals many things, including that the reason the authorities gave for Matthew's adoption that his father was an alcoholic was a lie. Without film's need to state it directly, it touched upon the point that systematic and institutionalized racism was responsible for what happened and same system continues to oppress indigenous peoples today. After promotion Matthews with his mother, Nana Brenda. Early in the work period, directors tap into the symbolic potential of doors, which can be powerful in visual storytelling. Doors can represent the transition from one world to another, or the act of escaping trap. In The Last Daughter, opening a door symbolizes accessing or unlocking distant memory. The film reverts to a slightly ajar door and the kama.